the charge is just simply God's counsel for Nigeria shall stand. God's counsel for Nigeria shall stand. Isaiah chapter 46 verse 9 to 11 he said, remember the former things of old. For I am God and there is none else. I am God and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient times the things that are not yet done. Saying, my counsel shall stand. And I will do all my pleasure. Calling a ravenous bird from the east, the man that executed my counsel from a far country, yeah, I have spoken it, I will also bring it to pass. I have proposed it, I will also do it. Somebody say a loud amen. Very quickly, there are 10 things I want us to note down on a general note. And we are handling this subject together with our Papa Bishop Uyedipo. First of all, God's ways are higher than our ways. And God's thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 8. God's ways are higher than our ways. And God's thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Secondly, God has more means than any man may ever discover. More means than any man may ever discover. And he has vowed to give us peace in this nation by all means. He has more means. Means of what? Means of getting his job done. More means than any man may ever discover and he has vowed to give us peace in this nation by all means Romans eleven thirty three, the Bible said oh the depth of the riches both of the wisdom and knowledge of God how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past final and 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 16 he said the God of peace will give us give you peace always by all means Somebody say a loud amen. So anything, any means available to God, it will, it will cause his purpose to be, to, be, to be done. Number three, our God changes times and seasons at his own will. He changes times and seasons at his own will. Daniel chapter 2 verse 21 makes that clear. He changes times at and seasons at his own will. Also Isaiah chapter 14 verse 24 to 27. He changes times and seasons. Regarding Nigeria, regarding any country of the world, he can change the times and seasons when he wants. Was that number three? He changes times and seasons at his own will. Number four. Our God also changes times and seasons in response to the prayer of the saints. He can change the times and seasons when he wants, but he can also change it when we demand. Joshua chapter 10 verse 12 to 13, he changed the times and seasons. When the Joshua asked the son to stand still. Joshua 10, 12 to 13. And then James chapter 5, verse 17 to 18. 
Elijah prayed that there should be no rain and there was no rain. He prayed again that there should be rain. So times and seasons were changed. The rainy season was changed to dry season by the prayer of Elijah. Somebody say amen. And in Nigeria, he will change our times and seasons. Number five, our God is the I am that I am. The same yesterday, today, and forever. He is still the I am that I am. The same yesterday, today, and forever. In Exodus chapter 3 verse 13 to 14. He told Moses that he is the I am that I am. In Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. I am the Lord, I change not therefore. Or rather, Jesus Christ the same yesterday today and forever so our god is the i am that i am number six god still rules in the or rather god rules in the kingdoms of men and gives it to whomsoever he wills he rules in the kingdoms of men and gives it to whomever he wills. Daniel chapter 4 verse 25 and also verse 32. Daniel 4 25 and 32 and then Daniel 5 21. Daniel 4 25 and 32 and then Daniel 5 21. God rules in the kingdoms of men. And gives it to whomsoever he will. Seven. God changes not. And he is angry with the wicked every day. God changes not. And he is angry with the wicked every day. Psalm 7 verse 11. God judges the righteous and God is angry with the wicked every day. Malachi 3 6. I'm the God, Lord, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Proverbs 11 21. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. Hallelujah. On the basis of these scriptures, we are standing to declare the counsel of God concerning Nigeria. That was number seven. Eight. For the sake of the poor and needy, God will never approve the rule of the wicked. For the sake of the poor and the needy, God never approves the rule of the wicked. Psalm 12 verse 5. For the oppression of the poor, for the sighing of the needy, now will I arise, saith the Lord, and I will set him in safety from him that perfect at him. Because of the poor, I will arise, saith the Lord. Proverbs chapter 29 verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. For the sake of the poor and the needy, God will never approve the rule of the wicked. Number nine. God is ever against proud rulers and humiliates them he is ever against proud rulers and humiliates them in Acts chapter 12 verse 21 to 23 we saw how he humiliated Herod Acts 12 21 to 23 and then Daniel chapter 4 verse 23 to 40 he humiliated Nebuchadnezzar God is ever against proud rulers and humiliates them. 
Are we together? Number 10. God still sets up kings and removes kings. He has the capacity to set kings up. He has the capacity to remove kings. In 1 Samuel chapter 9 verse 15 to 17, we saw the process of the removal of Samuel. Sorry, of Saul. And 1 Samuel chapter 10 verse 1, we saw the setting up of David. And then 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 28, God was explaining. And Saul said unto him, The Lord has rent the kingdom of Israel from thee this day and has given it to a neighbor of thine that is better than thou. God still sets up kings and removes kings. He will set up the right ones in our nation and remove the wrong ones in our nation. Shout the loudest, amen. That was number 10. 11. Our God is the overturning God who overturns thrones to give it to whomsoever he will. Our God is the overturning God who overturn, overturns thrones to give it to whom, whomsoever he wills. Ezekiel 21, 27. He said, I will overturn, overturn, overturn it. And it shall be no more until he come whose right it is. And I will give it to him it's an overturning God who overturns thrones to give it to whomsoever he wills and finally God's kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and his dominion is from generation to generation that is there is no generation that is too rebellious for God to enforce his will. God's kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. And his dominion is from generation to generation. Daniel chapter 4 verse 3. And then verse 34. How great are his signs and how mighty are his wonders. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and his dominion is from generation to to generation his dominion is an everlasting dominion on his kingdom from generation to generation Psalm 148 verse 13 his kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and his dominion let them praise the name of the Lord for his name alone is excellent his glory is above all the earth his dominion is from generation to generation so we are here tonight this evening to enforce that dominion in our country. Anybody here say amen. You are here say louder amen. amen. Is there somebody who is ready to pray tonight? Let's go. God's ways are higher than our ways. And God's thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Number two. God has more means than any man may ever discover. And he has vowed to give us peace in this nation by all means. Three, our God changes times and seasons at his own will. Four, our God also changes times and seasons in response to the prayer of his sins. Five, our God is the I am that I am. The same yesterday, today, and forever. And six, God rules in the kingdoms of men and gives it to whomsoever he wills. And seven, God changes not and is angry with the wicked every day and number eight for the sake of the poor and the needy god will never approve the rule of the wicked number nine god is ever against proud rulers and humiliates them number 10 god still sets up kings and removes kings number 11 our god is the overturning god who overturns thrones to give it to whomsoever he wills. 
And number 12, God's kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and his dominion is from generation to generation. Somebody say amen.